Hey, what's up guys? This is um Cass um Vlogs and today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial on how to pretty much get the best quality um with a HD PVR or any sort of video type and upload it to YouTube with the best quality using Final Cut Pro X. Alright, so first things first, what we're going to do is open up Final Cut Pro X. Alright. And if you're wondering what the quality is going to look like, um, I will show you right now. Let me just um, open. Alright, let's just have a look right here. So, let's just open. What one is it? I know I've just done it as well. It is... Fuck. Alright. Yeah, here we go. This is it. Alright, so this is the pretty much the quality you will get. Alright, so let me just make it smaller because I don't like playing it in big because that's kind of gay. So this is pretty much the quality you're going to get. Actually, I'll make it a bit bigger. Take that back. I right, just wait for this to start. Hey, what's up, guys? This is um Cast Gaming, and so as you can see, it's pretty nice quality, and it's um easy, and it's a low file. So what you want to do is you want to go to your um Final Cut Pro, and actually, first things first, if you've got a HD PVR, you're most probably using ITV. So the export settings I use is I export in um. H.264, um, the basic one, what they actually tell you to um, export in. But some people have problems, it won't let them open it in um, Final Cut Pro X. But for some reason, it lets me, which is an advantage for me. But I feel sorry for people who actually can't, so they feel kind of pissed. But if you are having problems, the same problems what a lot of people are having, export um, using HDV 720p, it will take long to export and it's a really big file so say like a 10 minute video will probably be like 3 gig and that's literally honest to god the truth but don't let the me don't let the file size fool you you know because when you export into final cut and you render it it's going to be amazing you know it's going to be lower it'll probably be like instead of being 4 gig 3 gig it'll probably be like 900 meg so it's kind of good for that uh, so once you've exported it and you got it on your desktop, you want to import. It's pretty simple to import. Just go file, import. And I know I'm going to help you guys as well. I know a lot of people have problems with um, their project settings. So what you do, I'm going to show you guys this little tip. Is if you go to the project, and as you can see, you click the button, and this button here takes you to the project. And as you can see, these are my project settings. There's a little um, sort of a tool here where you can press. So you modify your own settings and make sure you have these as your actual um, project um, settings. So obviously you have 720p HD, 120 by 720 and 30 frames per second. Um, a lot of people actually got, um, well pretty much had errors with the audio when they used to render it. They used to get this like buzzing sound. So that was because it was on surround sound. But if you put that to stereo and make it on these, you should have no problem whatsoever. And just click OK. Then once you're done with that, you have a look. See what you want to edit. Um, I'm going to show you the color corrections I recommend using. Um, go straight to blur. Add in a sharpen. Always add in a sharpen. It makes the video look a lot clearer and a lot nicer. And as well, maybe add in a couple of um, other stuff that you want. Maybe go add in some, I don't know, hard light. That can look nice sometimes, but I just don't really like adding any other stuff in unless it's a montage. But just if you're going to render it off as a commentary, just add sharpen, do your commentary and add it in. So yeah. And that's pretty much that. Then what you do now is you go to share, export movie, and... As you can see, it says current settings. Do not render in current settings. I know you guys are thinking, yeah, it's going to render it in the same sort of video type, the same sort of video format, the same all of that. It does, but the file size is just ridiculous high. I mean, I'm talking like if it's a 100 meg video, I'm talking like it's going to be like 600 meg. 
you know so I recommend going to h.264 and you can it's your choice after export if you want to open it in quick um quick time plow um I always have it open in quick time plow because I like to watch it before I upload it to see if there's any errors any little bugs that I missed out and stuff like that then once you're done with that just click next S choose whatever you want to choose it and just click save and then once that's done you have as you can see this is a 3 minute 30 seconds um, vid I'm going to show you how big the file size is it's quite good you know alright so this is it get info and as you can see it's a 206 meg so that is fantastic yeah and I'll show you what it was this is but this is reason why it's so low for me is because I'm actually um, rendering it off so as you can see the actual default h.264 is actually higher than the render so that is fantastic and I've added in an intro I've added in a lot of stuff so yeah alright thanks for watching guys I'd appreciate if you actually rate this video thumbs up because it gets me higher views and helps me out a lot if you haven't subscribed subscribe to me I upload very handy and helpful tutorials for Mac users and PC users and I'll see you guys later and I hope you enjoyed the video leave a comment below on how you thought this went and if you want any other tutorials etc after effects exporting in after effects maybe um, doing a couple of editing tips how to synchronize um, your video clips in um, after effects all sorts of stuff like that I can help you with and I will see you guys later and I hope you enjoyed the video goodbye